Okay, we are working on our cat at night. We just listened to the story, Cat at Night. So we're going to be drawing our own little cat sitting on a fence. So, Masterpiece Manager, you're going to get your folder. Open it up. There's a white piece of paper. Please keep the folder today because these papers will not be going to the drying rack. So put that to the side of you. Everybody, we are going to get our paper. We are going to turn it horizontal, side to side, horizontal side to side supply manager there is a basket of black crowns at your table now please give everybody one black crown and guys if you need to rip the paper off that's fine rip it off just don't throw the little pieces of paper on my floor there's a trash can everybody's going to take your paper and we are all going to write our name check behind miss lawson on her board for your teacher's code if you have forgot it then we're going to flip our paper now we're going to be drawing the cats right in the middle now you got to be careful because if we start with the head down here you're not going to have room for the body if you start with the head way up here you're not going to have room for the moon so you need to make sure that you've get your your cat's going to be somewhat in the middle and we don't want to make the head too big because then it will just take up way too much um, space and we won't have room for the whole cat so we're going to start with a circle which is the head so and here's the best way let's take our paper take the top fold it side to side kind of like a hot dog bun we call it it is horizontal open it up why do we do this this is going to help us know where the center is because that center is where the head's going to have to go above the center and the body's going to have to go below the center so we want to make sure that we know where the center of our paper is it helps us make sure that the cat's body or head doesn't get too big so we can see our invisible line which is our fold now somewhere at the top obviously wherever we put the head the body's going to be below it we're going to draw the head and it's going to be a circle now please remember do the best you can do as long as it's a circle is shape then you're okay so once we got the circle, which is above the folds, we're gonna add our ears, and our ears are going to be a triangle. Now, we don't want one ear up here. We're not doing a unicorn. We're gonna have one ear to the side, and notice there's a point at the end. Then I come to the other side. There's a point at the end. Now we're gonna do the same line on the inside. So you should have a circle for the head and two triangles on each ear. Then we're going to move to the face. So I'm going to make one black dot, two black dot, and then in between we're going to add the little nose. Now the nose is going to be an upside down triangle. Well, actually, no, no, it's not. It's going to be where the point is at the top. So I'm going to do it a little different. It's a little bit fatter and then you're going to take the black and you're going to color in that triangle so you should have two dots and a triangle to color in the triangle and we're going to move down to the mouth now we're going to be touching the bottom of our triangle and we're going to make the little mouth so you start in the middle you curve to the left go back to the middle and you curve to the right so that's its little mouth then we're going to add whiskers one two three one, two, three. Don't forget the whiskers, because if you don't make whiskers, it starts to look like a dog. Now we're gonna move to the collar, which is right below the neck. This is kind of gonna be right on the fold. So right below that, kind of where the chin of your cat is, we're gonna start, if you can see where I'm starting, I'm gonna come down, across, and back up. So there's the collar of our cat. Now the way we're gonna do this cat, it's gonna have its two little legs here and then its bottom here with the tail going that way. So coming off where that collar is, we're gonna come down. No, you're not gonna go all the way down. You're gonna stop right near the end because we have to add the foot. So make sure that you come off that collar coming down and stop. We gotta leave room for the little foot. For the foot, at the end of that line, you're gonna curve out, around, and come in, but stop. Out, around, and come in, and stop. Now, that is kinda like a, little, a big fat C. And inside this part, we're gonna add where the little toes would be. So it's gonna be two curved lines. 
Now we're going to be moving to the back end of our cat. So this one's going to be kind of farther out because it's a little tushies to the side. So again, start off the side of that collar up here, but on this side, we're going to kind of curve out more and then curve in. And you want to be even with this foot right here, but don't go, don't connect it to that foot. Just curve it in. Now we've got to add the other leg right in the middle right here. So in the middle of the collar, we're going to jump down some. Again, we didn't connect it. We're jumping down from the middle of the collar and we're going to draw a line, straight line. And do you see where this straight line stops? That's where this straight line is going to stop because this is the side of the body. So where this straight line stops, that straight line stops. And then just like we did here, we're going to curve out around, but we want to kind of bring it oops, back up and I'm going to connect that right there if it's not connected. So just like we did on this side, we're going to do the same thing over here, curve around, but we want to come all the way up to make it look like a leg, come up and around. And the same thing, we're going to add the curved lines, but they're going to be going the other way and we're going to add three on this side. And last but not least, it's tail. Now his tail's coming off the back end over here, not that side, this side over here. So we're gonna do one line going up. And notice it's not really an S, it's like a very slight S. Then at the top of your tail, make a hook, because that's the end of it, and then follow that line back down. It should be pretty thick. It shouldn't be a skinny little tail. Okay, that is where we're going to stop today is just drawing our cat because next week we will paint this cat in and then we will cut him out and add him to his fence and add the moon onto that paper. So, supply manager, collect everybody's black. I will be calling for this. Masterpiece manager, take your cats. Take your folder, get everybody's cat. Open up your folder, stick your cats in there. Bring this to my box seat. Masterpiece Manager, Supply Manager, you'll bring this up to my table too.